Hey folks, Dan Grafe here, and today I want to talk to you about the one thing I believe is essential if you want to grow your Amazon business in 2020. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. In here I share lots of methods and strategies for you to grow your Amazon FBA business, as well as sharing lots of tips and tricks around saving and making more money. If you find the content useful today, then please do consider hitting the like button as it really does help the channel out. And you can always subscribe while you're down there too to get notified of any future videos. But let's get straight into the content. Now, I believe the biggest and best investment you can possibly make in your Amazon business this year is to get what is called brand registered. And if you stick around until the end of the video, you will be thinking exactly the same way. So first of all, what is brand registry and why should you even care about it? Well, it's a program that sellers on Amazon can enroll in to get lots of extra goodies from Amazon. So first of all, you get access to something called A plus content, which is something that allows you to make your listings much more rich and stand out amongst your competition. As a regular seller, your description in your listing can only contain text with some simple little tweaks like bold and italics. With brand registry, your description becomes like a little web page of its own. You can have images in there, much richer content, more detail, and essentially you're able to tell a story about the product and also your brand. Amazon have said themselves that sellers who utilize this a content have seen a bump in sales of 5.6% relative to what they had before. Additionally, you might have seen on Amazon before either a 3D rotating image or even a video of a product. Now at the moment, this functionality is only available to vendors, i.e. those people who sell in bulk to Amazon and then Amazon sell to customers. However, Amazon did say on a recent webinar that they would be rolling out this functionality to, you guessed it, brand registered sellers. Both of these are brilliant ways to help you get more eyes on your product and help your product stand out amongst all your competitors. Now, other than these visual improvements to your listings, you also get some really great legal protection as well. Now, if you don't have a business yet or you're in early days, you might be thinking, legal stuff, that sounds a bit formal. I don't really want to worry about that. But hear me out. Now, if you're selling on Amazon already or you've done any research into it, you'll have probably come across a term known as a hijacker, a word that strikes fear into the heart of any Amazon seller. <laughs> now, if you don't know what it is, then let me quickly explain. When you make a listing on Amazon, it's natural to feel like you own that listing, especially since you did all the hard work, taking the photographs, writing the copy, optimizing the keywords, However, no matter how much it feels like you own that listing, unfortunately, you don't. Amazon was always designed like a big catalogue where multiple sellers can come along and sell the same product. Take the listing for this little microphone I'm wearing, for example. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. There isn't just one seller of that product, there are tons. In fact, not just new microphones, but also used ones as well, and at all different price points. And intuitively, that makes sense for a product like that, right? If you went to a mall or your local high street, you would expect lots of different electronic stores to be selling this product. Well, there's nothing stopping the same thing happening to your products on Amazon as well. But Dan, I sell private label products. I buy from the manufacturer, I put my brand on it, and nobody else sells it. So what gives? In the case of private label products, which is what we are interested in, you are 100% right. And that is where the term hijacker comes in. That's where another seller comes along and claims to be selling exactly what's listed in that listing, but actually isn't. Now coming back to the microphone example, imagine someone listed on this Rode microphone listing saying they were selling the same product, but actually what they were doing was manufacturing a cheaper, black, very similar looking microphone without Rode branding and selling it on that listing. Rode, in this case, would have been hijacked. And this is a losing situation for everyone involved. Well, other than that sneaky hijacker, of course. So the hijacker comes in and undercuts the price. I mean, why not, given the fact that the product is easier and cheaper to produce than the real thing? And the customer buys it, thinking they're getting the real product. But when the item arrives, they open it and, lo and behold, it's not the product they expected. They're left with a sour taste in their mouth and the first thing they do is they go to Amazon and they leave a bad review on the product. And then it's the seller of the real thing that's left with an undeserved bad review on their product. Now, as a regular seller, there are certain ways to combat this. For example, you can buy the hijacker's product from Amazon, film the unboxing, 
send it to Amazon with a detailed description of everything that's different about the product you thought you were ordering and the product that actually arrived. However, speaking from experience, they're not always the fastest to react to this kind of thing. But with brand registry on your side, your level of protection is supercharged. You get access to a powerful search tool and 24 seven customer support to help you with any intellectual rights infringements like what we just discussed. In addition, Amazon's AI tools will actively monitor and search the site to find any infringements and report them to Amazon on your behalf. For example, if you've got some amazing product photography, Amazon can actively search in the background looking for any sellers who tried to steal your images and use them on their listings without your permission. Now that is pretty cool, right? Amazon themselves say that they take action on 95% of these infringement cases within 24 hours. It also opens the door for something called the Amazon Transparency Program. This is another really neat way to combat counterfeiters by getting Amazon specific QR codes put on every individual unit of your product. And each time a customer buys one of your products, on its way out of the warehouse, they try to scan this QR code. And if it's missing or it's invalid, then the product doesn't leave the warehouse. So this means that only the real deal can ever get to the customer. Daniel, this sounds awesome. I'm gonna go register right now. Hey, whoa, whoa, steady on, hold your horses. Amazon will only allow businesses with a certain level of legitimacy to actually sign up to this program. So the question is, how do you prove to Amazon that you are a legitimate business? Well, for the brand you wanna protect, you're gonna need a registered trademark, that can be a word mark or an image mark, in the country in which you want to protect it. Let's imagine an example. Let's say you have a brand called Blue. Now, in order to complete brand registry on Amazon, you would need a registered word mark of the term Bluth, or you would need a registered image mark of the logo you have associated with that. And if you wanted that brand registry in the United States, then that would need to be registered with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, or USPTO. Now in Europe, because you've got one umbrella Amazon account for all the European countries, you actually only need a trademark registration in one of those European countries to get brand registered. For example, the UK. Now, generally speaking, you are gonna to wanna to hire a lawyer to help you through this. They'll help you make sure that the brand name you've chosen can actually be trademarked, which believe it or not, is not always the case. And they'll help you register that trademark in the correct categories and with the correct agencies. The trademark registration process does take quite a long time to complete. In the US, you're talking about nine months from start to finish. And in the UK, it's a little bit better at around three months. But either way, it's a pretty long process and you don't want to get something wrong and have to go all the way back to the start. And if by this point you're like me and think that this is a key thing you need for your business in 2020, then you better get moving because we're halfway through the year already. Now I'm not a legal expert myself, but I'll leave a link to a really good Facebook group below, totally free, and it's run by a really good attorney who knows everything about private legal law. That's it guys, I really hope you learned a lot in this video and you're ready to go take action get brand registered and add a ton of value and protection to your business this year. If you found the video valuable, then please do leave a like. Also subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to get notified every time I release a new video. If you've got any questions at all on the content today, then don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I will personally get back to you. But either way, until next time, take care.